There's a lot of stress involved from the chimp's point of view, but there's also a lot of stress on the keeper's point of view. You've only got a certain amount of control over them, and obviously you don't want any animal injured or hurt, so you're trying to minimise that. There's no handbook or anything like that. you just got to go on your gut instinct and hope it's right. After five minutes, the dominant male, Dylan, realises there is a new female in the group and raises the alarm. Males will attack the female chimp coming in just to make sure they are totally submissive. The whole lot of them can set on her. Perhaps sensing a hostile welcome is being planned for her, Via takes refuge. I can't think of anything more frightening than being chased by a whole group of chimps. Chimps give Freddy Krueger nightmares. But with Via safely hidden, Dylan's hunt is called off. And Boris gives her the all clear. Via is safe for now, but until she's accepted by the group, Dylan could mount another attack at any time. The pressure's on the wildlife film crew. They're desperately hoping they can get their camera closer to the pink iguana than they managed with its yellow cousins. If anything, it's taken an even stronger dislike to the 3D kit. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure this, uh, this iguana quite understands how much this mirror costs, but uh, I guess it probably thought it was a rival giving him the eye. He's done a bit of damage, but I think we'll be OK. But they're a very important part of the 3D setup, this mirror. The lion's instinct to feed emboldens their fearless behaviour. Pursue the herd through the trees. The lions can sense their weakness. Now is the time to strike. After weeks of walking on an empty stomach, the elephant uses all his remaining energy to fight off his attackers. have the upper hand. They use their combined weight to bring the giant to his knees. The elephant's demise will help save the life of a pride on the brink of starvation. You can see him lowering his head, you know, making sure his horns are out. And so, yeah, he's just really uncertain and, and probably a little bit afraid as well. The calf's doing everything it should. It's, you know, it's approaching the, the adult and, and to, for maybe for a feed or safety. And he just looks like he doesn't really want it anywhere near him. When it comes to the births, we really want to avoid intervening where we can. The dick dicks can be so easily stressed out. Sometimes we can be doing more harm than good. While keepers are reluctant to get involved, leaving Kari with a newborn is a worry. You know, he is much, much bigger than the calf. You know, it's just been born. It'd be really easy for him to, to do some harm to it. Somehow, two new queens, sisters to each other, are emerging at the same time. Keepers call them lefty and righty. 
they're both very strong characters. You know, they've both got a lot of attitude, they've both got a lot of willpower. If you're the queen, you, you are number one. Um, and they won't, they both want that spot. So, you know, they've both gone off, mated with someone, got themselves pregnant, and now they're like, yeah, I'm in charge. So they're, they're trying to assert their dominance. Janet's getting walked all over. I suppose it's, it's a little bit like Game of Thrones, isn't it? But as the aspiring queens get closer to giving birth, they're about to become a lethal problem. If you just leave them to it, one of them is going to basically dispatch the other one. My biggest worry really is that they're both going to give birth and they're going to kill each other's offspring. In the mole rat colony, warring queens lefty and righty are trying to avoid each other. It's almost like we've got a split already, yeah. isn't it? You've got this female and that female at the opposite yeah. end. I've seen this little little group that are splitting away with Lefty and, and sitting in their own box away from the rest of the colony. So you're kind of getting a new, a second little colony within the main colony. For the other animals who used to follow the old queen, choosing a new leader is confusing. It's just, it's unsettling everyone. So you've, you've got everyone with a bit of a, a sort of split loyalties almost. So the colony's not sort of cohesive, which means, you know, the jobs aren't getting done properly. No one's putting the food in the right place. There's more than one toilet and that sort of thing. It's, yeah, it's upsetting everyone. In the wild, if two queens emerge, the colony naturally splits. One burrows away and starts a new family. Obviously, in, in captivity, they can't just dig off. Um, there is a plastic wall in the way.